welcome back actually behind me you can't tell that it's a christmas time but it obviously is which i can't believe next week is christmas um but i have an unexpected unboxing for you guys today and i wanted to jump on and film this video i do have a few more videos uh lined up for next week that i'm excited to film just because my company actually gives us pretty much from christmas till after new year's off so i will have some time and what better time spent than talking and filming videos about what i love to talk about so um i do have an unexpected unboxing today and i just wanted to give a little background so my mom was visiting and we it's like it's usually like up to chance that we will get to see each other around the holidays and um just with her job she gets deployed to military bases and they give her like no notice so she um she made the trip out really quick and we got to catch up and she was taking a peek at my bag collection and she's somebody in my life that always um loved fashion but i think i've kind of surpassed her in like my obsession with bags and shoes and things like that so but she's definitely somebody that has liked and admired um bags like that so she uh, was pointing out that she really liked my Chanel vintage tote and you guys know I love that bag um, I got it for Meetings and I wanted something subtle, but I also wanted something really lightweight So she was carrying it around this weekend and she loved it. So she ended up taking it home with her so it now lives with her and that kind of left me with a little gap in bags for like everyday work meetings so i don't go into an office anymore i work remote but i travel for work and i go to meetings with clients and so um for that kind of like work day where i'm like traveling to people's offices and things like that i i don't like to bring anything huge just for practicality wise my on the go gm was my everyday work office bag when i used to go into an office and i don't do that anymore so now i'm going to like one-off meetings so i don't need to bring like everything with me but um the chanel tote was perfect for it so let's unbox this new bag to replace my chanel vintage tote that now lives with my mom but um still love that bag i would probably trade her at some point for something else if i miss it so 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 much but right now it's living a good life so um i get to at least know it's in good hands and kind of take a peek at maybe another bag that i never would have actually gone for if she hadn't inspired me to so she actually encouraged me on this one so let's open okay so here she is obviously louis vuitton and something that i actually had on my fashion file wish list that kept being sold and i actually creeped on facebook uh facebook groups for like facebook ritzy lv ritzy groups and there isn't actually a lot on this bag at all and i'd always really liked it i'd seen it in store a few times but with my on the go and with my never full i just like never really needed a bag like that but now that i'm going to meetings and traveling um for work more having like that essential everyday like work tote was so important to me so let's go ahead and open it up and this one came up and i had to grab it there's no easy way to do that <laughs> okay so here she is i promise you nobody is going to guess this whatsoever but it is the Louis Vuitton, and I'm gonna butcher this. Seren MM, Seren, Serene, Serene MM, and it is in the all black, on Priance leather with gold chain and a leather top. Um, I guess like 
top handle for the chain, but it is stunning. Oh my goodness. So this actually originally came in a canvas front and back, and then it had different colors for the leather. Um, if I can find some pictures, I will insert them here, but it came in like monogram with like cognac leather, I believe, uh, or like a wine color, and then it also came in like black, but they also made it in a couple all leather options, and I believe this was black as well as the like, it's called like Marine Rouge, which is like a navy with red piping on it. And the black one, I never saw in store, but I had seen the canvas option and I thought it was like the perfect size bag. But at the time I had really had all the bags that I needed, which like the on the go for every day for work, the never full for travel and um, I really didn't have any reason to, but they actually stopped selling this bag. I believe it's not on the website anymore. I do not believe it's in stores anymore. If anybody knows that they still sell this bag, let me know. But at least in the US, I could not find it anywhere. They have the monogram, I believe, still available online, but not available to purchase. And I really wanted an all black bag that was fun with the Empreant. So supple, gorgeous, um, but also easy to carry. And this drop is perfect for me. I will include mod shots for you guys as well. And also has the feet. So a structured tote bag that's a little fun. And it kind of reminds me of the Chanel like shopper tote, but I've never really been drawn to that bag. I admire it from afar, but I've never been super drawn to it. And when this one came up, and at the timing that it came up, um, I had to, I had just had to have it. This actually, whoever owned this bag and sold it to Fashion File truly has never used it. It has the protective stickers still on here. Um, and I'm, I plan on taking them off. I just like don't want to right now, but it has all the stickers on the hardware. It is pristine on the inside and I just, I'm so happy I was able to grab it. So let me tell you guys why I chose this bag. Um, first of all, the structure. It is a uh, structured bag that has feet. For me, going to meetings and travel, I have to have feet on the bottom of my toe. My Chanel um, Vintage Show also had feet and the drop as well. I don't really like a messenger style strap for my everyday work bags. And this drop on this chain is perfect. It's so comfortable and it has the leather um, pieces at the top to make it very comfortable on the shoulder. Um, it also is magnetic closure and has a zipper closure. So turn, hopefully you guys can see. The two outside compartments are magnetic which makes it easy to get in and out of. And then the middle compartment is obviously zipper, so you can keep all of your important things in here. And then it also has two like cell phone pockets, I would call it, where two phones can fit or you know whatever you need to bring in here. It can actually be stored in that pocket. And it has the black microfiber interior. Now this bag line, the Seren, also came in a smaller option and that one was very cute it had the same type of straps with the chain and then the leather but you could actually pull one side and make it a crossbody um, very similar to like the chanel classic flap where you can kind of like pull them through but they're very small so um it wasn't going to work for an everyday bag and it i think those actually came in more colors um, this one also came with the luggage tag and what I realized too when I was like starting to look at this bag It was catching my eye was that a lot of them on the pre-loved market They all didn't have the luggage tag. Most people like will get it um, Embossed and then just keep it and put it on other bags. I will probably get this embossed um, but I will Probably put it on a different bag. I don't know if I love it on this bag but it's so nice to have it and to see that it was in such new condition that 
whoever owned it like literally just never touched it um and then this one i was looking at the date code in here because this one still has the date code in it but this one was from last year so i believe these retailed for around 3000 or more and this one i got for i believe it was like 2400 and um fashion file was doing like a quick little like sale where they had like a discount code and so i ended up just basically saving um the amount i would have paid in taxes so i felt like i felt good about buying the bag and not really paying taxes on it if that makes sense so this is it and it actually fits my 13 inch macbook pro and air um, in the side pockets as well as the middle pocket if you have like anything bigger than 13 inch I believe a 15 inch will fit in the middle um, I don't have one of those computers or else I would show you but a 13 inch MacBook does fit in any of the compartments here so you know me if my laptop doesn't fit I don't want it as a work bag um, but this this is it so I will definitely be filming more videos on this bag. When I was looking into it, I realized there was really no, there was like one or two videos. They were great, but they were um, not super, super in depth. Like I like to go into my bag reviews. So I will definitely be filming that and let you guys know how it's doing as an everyday bag and as a travel bag. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, what do we think? Did I surprise you? I feel like, I like surprising you guys whenever I buy a bag I'm like nobody's gonna know that this is what I was thinking but I think you know you guys know I love the Louis Vuitton Empreinte leather it is one of my favorite um, types of materials that I own and so I know it's gonna be durable I know it's gonna look classy and also really have longevity for me in my collection and I'm just like so so happy I have not stopped thinking about this bag since um, I ordered it and I'm just so excited to start using it so I wanted to unbox it with you guys first and just kind of talk to you guys about it and give you a little backstory but here she is and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do some mod shot for you guys so you can see what it looks like on and where it sits on my body and all of that love you guys bye